I'm here in Missouri. I'm just about to leave. And I wanted to take a moment to recap my adventure here down on the Ozark Trail, my time here in Missouri. I don't have a chance to be able to edit all my videos yet. I'll do that here in the upcoming week or two. But I wanted to give a brief highlight of what my adventure was like down in Missouri. To start off, we started at the wrong trailhead. I can't believe it happened, but I was editing my video on my laptop on the way down. My neighbor was driving. We dropped off a resupply in Black, Missouri. We had no cell phone service. We tried to get directions to the trailhead. We got directions to the wrong trailhead. So we ended up starting at the 3152 Forest Service Road Trailhead, which basically is about 28 miles shorter than the actual start at 11 Point. So we ended up doing about 203 miles instead of the whole 231. So it ended up going from a through hike to a long ass section hike, a lash as some may call it. And then the cold came. It got down to about 24 degrees my first night on the trail, which for Missouri, this time of year, the lows are somewhere in maybe like the low 40s to 50s. And highs should be somewhere into the upper 60s to upper 70s. My first few days on the trail, I was seeing somewhere in the 40s the high down to the 20s as the low. It was absolutely crazy. The second day I was on the trail, it actually snowed, which is kind of unheard of for April weather for Missouri. I found this little hobbit house and thought it'd be really cool to film myself going inside of it. And to my surprise, there was something inside of it. I think it was like a coon or something like that. It startled the living heck out of me. And then probably the coolest thing that I saw the entire week was a herd of elk. Yeah, it's like 15 elk. I, I couldn't believe it in, in Missouri and the Ozark Trail in the wild. And then I hit a part of the trail that's been completely logged for maybe like a quarter of a mile. You couldn't see the trail because of all the tire marks. And nearly every single tree that had a marker on it is down. It was very difficult to be able to navigate and figure out where the trail was going. Shortly after that, I hit about a 10 mile section that was so under maintained. I honestly couldn't tell if I was on the trail, if I was off the trail. Even following the markers was difficult to figure out was this the real trail? And then in the middle of the week, things started to get back to normal. Temperatures got up into the 70s. I cooled down in a couple of rivers. And then the last night I was on the trail, there was this huge storm that swept through. There were incredible licks of lightning and thunder, and it downpoured for about four or five hours. Now, one thing about Missouri, it's full of rivers. I was pretty much walking in a stream of water almost the entire last day. When I got down to Bass River Resort area, I had to walk through about knee-deep water through the Bass River. There was actually cars driving right through it. I couldn't believe how high the water got just from the storm last night. And I thought it was in the clear. I forgot about one thing, the Cordier River. Cordier River is actually Cordier Creek, and it's the last thing that was standing between me and my car. It's about five miles from the end of the trail where my car was parked. And I had to figure out how to cross that. Hope you enjoyed these highlights. More on those and everything else that happened to me on the trail here in the upcoming weeks in the channel. Stay tuned for that. Many more sightings. Remember to always follow Bigfoot. Thank you.